Assalamu alaikum my name is Rishma Sajid and I am from PS Bio Technology the topic of my presentation is ultraviolet visible spectroscopy which is also known as UV visible spectroscopy before starting the main topic of my presentation let us know what is spectroscopy it is the branch of science dealing with the study of interaction of electromagnetic radiation with matter Spectroscopy is the branch of science dealing with the interaction of electromagnetic radiation with matter. It is the most powerful tool available for the study of atomic and molecular structure and is used in analysis of wide range of samples in chemistry and physics as well as in biotechnology departments. It has two main types atomic spectroscopy and molecular spectroscopy. In atomic spectroscopy, it deals with the interaction of electromagnetic radiation with atoms and are commonly in the lowest energy state which is known as ground state. And in molecular spectroscopy, it deals with the interaction of electromagnetic radiation with molecules because molecules and atoms are of different different states and uh, both comprises of different of different excitation states. What is electromagnetic radiation? It consists of discrete packages of energy which are known as photons. Photons consist of an oscillating electric field and oscillating magnetic field which are perpendicular to each other and it comprises of frequency and wavelength. So wavelength is defined as the number of times an electric field radiation oscillates in one second. Its unit is hertz. And what is wavelength? It is the distance between two nearest points of a wave. Of in the same phase that is distance between nearest crest or nearest trough when we say uv visible radiation these are the regions of spectrum that have certain range of wavelength the wavelength range of ultraviolet visible radiation is 190 nanometer to 380 nanometer and the wavelength range of visible radiation is 380 nanometer to 750 nanometer the relationship between wavelength and frequency is written as c is equals to v lambda as photon is subjected to energy so e is equals to hv is equals to hc over lambda and all the photons that fall in this range belongs to uv visible radiations and their interaction will be discussed in this matter under the uh, electromagnetic radiation topic we will discuss what is the main principle of spectroscopy and the interaction of e emr with the matter here is a simple diagram of electromagnetic spectrum which shows us the different uh, wavelengths of infrared rays, visible light, ultraviolet etc and different energy levels. So as soon as the uh, wavelength increase the energy will decrease or the decrease in wavelength and increase in energy. Principles of spectroscopy. The principle is based on the measurement of spectrum of sample containing atoms and molecules as we discussed before and what is spectrum spectrum is a graph of intensity of absorbed or emitted radiation by a sample versus frequency or wavelength spectrometer is an instrument designed to measure the spectra of the compound which will uh, measure the light fall over the spectrum as as we have discussed in electromagnetic radiation uh, diagram While discussing the interaction of EMR with matter, number one point will be electronic energy levels. At room temperature, the molecules are in lowest energy levels. So the molecules which the UV visible light absorbs from the EMR, the uh, uh, lone pair electron is promoted to higher energy states such as E1, E2 and E3, which is known as electronic transition and the difference is denoted as delta E equals to HV which is equals to E n minus E naught where n can be 1 2 3 and the value of delta E comprises 2 3 35 to 71 kilocalorie per mole the next point of interaction of EMR with matter is vibration energy levels there are 
less energy levels than electronic energy levels the spacing between energy levels are relatively small for instance 0.01 to 10 kilocalorie per mole example when infrared radiation is absorbed the molecules are excited from one vibrational level to another and it vibrates with higher amplitude level the last point is rotational energy levels these energy levels are quantized and discrete the spacing between energy levels are even smaller than vibrational energy levels so it is the least energy level of the interaction of emr with matter moving towards the instrumentation of uv visible spectroscopy in case of uv visible spectroscopy we use the uv visible spectrophotometer the instrumentation or source of radiation monochromat system Simple sample holder, detector, amplifier, and readout device. Our very first part of the instrumentation is a source of radiation. So we will discuss that it provides the light and radiation. The radiations will be of different wavelengths. The light provided by a source will be a mixture of several photons. So what are the requirements of an ideal source? It should be stable and should not allow fluctuations, which means it must be of perfect use. It should provide incident light of sufficient intensity for transmitted energy to be detected at the end of optic path. It must not show any fatigue or continuous use. So what is our first source of radiation? It is tungsten halogen lamp. Its construction is similar to house to a household lamp. It, the filament can be heated up to 3000 Kelvin beyond this tungsten starts sublimating. It is used when polychromite light is required. So the bulb contains a filament of tungsten fixed in evacuated condition and then filled with inert gas. What are the merits of using tungsten halogen lamp as our source of radiation? It emits the major portion of its radiation in energy in near infrared region of the spectrum. So another source can be hydrogen discharge lamp. The, in this lamp, pair of electrodes is enclosed in a glass tube filled with hydrogen gas. So hydrogen gas is filled in this uh, hydrogen discharge lamp. When current is passed through these electrodes maintained at a high voltage, discharge of electrons occurs which excites hydrogen molecules which in turn causes emission of UV radiations in near UV region. So they are very stable and widely used so it is better to use hydrogen discharge lamp as compared to tungsten filament uh, tungsten lamp. The next instrumentation is monochromators. Monochromator will convert the light which is a mixture of several photons and radiations. It will convert the light into simple beam and in a simple wavelength. The essential elements of monochromators are an entrance slit, dispersing element and exit slit. The entrance slit sharply defines the incoming beam of heterochromatic radiations the dispersing element disperses the heterochromatic radiations and its component wavelength exit exit slit allows the normal wavelength together with the bond of wavelength on either side of it so what the following types of monochromatic devices are filters prisms and gratings further classification of monochromators are filters there are two types of filter used number one is absorption filters they work by selective absorption of unwanted radiation and transmits the radiation which is required for example glass and gelatin filters the selection of absorption filter is done according to the following procedure first of all take a draw a filter wheel write the vibrator in clockwise or anti-clockwise manner omitting indigo the solution is analyzed which is blue in a color a filter having a complementary orange color is used in the analysis Similarly, we can select the required filter in calorimeter based upon the color of solution. An absorption glass filter is made of solid sheet of glass that has been colored by pigments which will dissolve or dispersed in the glass. Merits of using filter are simple in construction, it is cheaper, selection of the filter is easy. So what are demerits? It is less accurate, the bandwidth is more plus minus 20 to 300 nanometer that is if we have to measure at 400 nanometer we get radiation from 370 to 430 nanometer hence less accurate results are obtained another monochromator used in uv visible spectroscopy is prism prism is made up of glass quartz or few silica quartz or few silica is the choice of material of uv spectrum when white light is passed through glass 
prism dispersion of polychromatic light in rainbow occurs now by rotation of prism different wavelengths of the spectrum can be made to pass through an exit slit on the same sample the effective light wavelength depends on the dispersive power of prism material and the optical angle of prism there are two types of mounting in an instrument one is called cornu type which is also known as refractive it has an optical angle of 60 degree and it is adjusted in such a way that rotation that on the rotation the emerging light is allowed to fall on the exit slit the other type is known as litro type reflective which has optical angle of 30 degree and it and its one surface is illuminated with reflected light back to pass through its prism and to emerge on the same side of the light source that is light does not pass through the prism on the other side the monochromatic light will fall on the sample sample holder or cuvets the cells or cuvets are used for handling liquid samples the cell may either be rectangular or cylindrical in nature for study the uv region the cells are prepared from quartz or fused silica whereas fused glass is used for visible region the surfaces of absorption cell must be kept clean no fingerprints should be present on cells cleaning is carried out washing with distilled water or with dilute alcohol acetone the cell or cuvette that contains sample for analysis should fulfill three conditions they must be uniform in construction the thickness must be in constant and surface must facing the incident light and it must be optical flat the materials of construction should be inert to solvents they must transmit light of the wavelength which is used the next in instrumentation of the visible spectroscopy is detector devices which converts light energy into electrical signals are displayed on readout devices the transmitted radiation falls on the detectors which determines the intensity of radiation absorbed by sample the following types of detectors employed in instrumentation of absorption spectrophotometer are barrel barrier layer cell which is also known as photovoltaic cell photo tubes photo emissive tube photo multiplier tube readout device is the final instrumentation the signals from the detector after amplification are finally received by the recording system or readout device the recording is done by recorder pen this is the diagram which shows the instrumentation of whole uv visible spectroscopy for explaining the instrumentation of uv visible spectroscopy we are moving towards applications which are for uv visible spectroscopy qualitative and quantitative analysis it is used for characterizing aromatic compounds and conjugated olefins it can be used to find out molar concentration of the solute under study number 2 is detection of impurities it is one of the most important method to detect impurity in organic solvents additional peaks can be observed due to impurities in the sample and it can be compared with the standard raw material the structure evaluation of organic compounds in the presence or absence of unsaturation the presence of hetero atoms like sulfur nitrogen oxygen or halogens can be determined structural analysis of organic compounds effects of conjugation extended conjugation shifts the maximum wave wavelength to longer wavelength and reduction of the compound or saturation of double bonds leads to opposite effect for uh, instance hypochromic uh, hypochromic shift effect of geometric isomerism trans isomer absorbs at longer wavelength than cis isomers cis to trans conversion is bathochromic shift and hyperchromic effect alkyl substitution it shifts the maximum wavelength to longer wavelength bathochromic shift number of rings the addition of rings causes the bathochromic shift so here the topic of my presentation ends thank you